What's going on Nation? UK Vape here and welcome. Today we got not an RDA, plenty of RDAs lately, yeah? We got this beauty, look at that in my pulse. Everything is autumn. Look at that, looks really, really good. And this is from Atkin, okay? Now Atkin has been knocking out the park lately, all right? He's bringing us very, very good stuff. So what we're gonna find out is if this one is, is really good. Now, this is the Arta, called the Arta, and it's available in two colors, black and autumn. The autumn is obviously uh, autumn uh, top cap, all right? Or plastic, if you wanna say it. Uh, is autumn and the stain the black one is stainless steel uh, also this one is a the autumn is a full barrel and the other one is two barrels this one don't have adjustable airflow the other one have so a bit of a difference between the colors all right but obviously we're going to go to all of that on the open close so what we're going to do now we're going to dive down all right and here is the box where you're at. on the inside you're going to get a baggie with a coil jig slash flathead screw for your post screws you get a squonking pin some extra o-rings and post screws and two coils you're also gonna get this little vaping and share your moments social media and inside actually the rda you're gonna get this silicone plug so if you want to run it in single coil and obviously you get the star of the show the atkin arta and um, obviously this one is uh, autumn cap all right the the deck's gonna be a uh, gold plated stainless steel uh, but the cap is uh, autumn and it is differences between the autumn and the stainless steel version on the top you got a 810 gun style compatible drip tip nice beefy o-ring in there all right on the bottom you have Arta serial number designed by Fatrio and Atkin not sure with Fatrio you got a protruding uh, gold plated 510 all right now let me attach that to a mod to remove the top cap all right really 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 nice o-rings on this um, deck top cap is autumn obviously um, the eating dissipation is going to be really really good on the autumn all right and you got concave shape to improve a bit the flavor non-adjustable airflow yes non-adjustable airflow on the autumn version the black version you have um the option to adjust your airflow but not on this one you got um two o-rings very very nice o-rings okay and this is the the deck i mean easy easy build deck all right pretty beefy uh, quite large um holes to put your um your coils you will fit here very very nice coils let me zoom in a little bit oops focus here we go so pretty pretty beefy really really nice nice screws on the top i've been experienced no issues uh really nice deep juice well all right and obviously if you squonking your squonk pin is going to be uh, protruding a little bit here and it's going to feed uh, both sides um, now the sides are separated all right there's no holes under the deck so obviously if you're squonking in an angle be careful because your juice can be trapped only in one side but as soon as you reach this level it's going to start to travel on both sides anyway so you shouldn't be much uh, of a problem in there uh, as you can see very very big holes that is uh, they are two millimeters i will say nearly three millimeters uh, wide so you can fit really really beefy coils and you got here um i think is the signature uh, of prio of that man uh, fatrio um i don't know where it is fatrio um, but he done a collaboration obviously with afghan to help to bring this bad boy so what we're gonna do we're gonna throw a build in here i'm gonna show you how easy it is to build on this bad boy okay we're gonna be using the coils um they provide inside the pack so you can slide them in like so and you can pre-cut them if you want or you can slide them both okay slide them both like that make sure 
put them where you want them. I'm gonna use the flathead slash coil jig to tighten them down. Very, very nice screws. I love those screws. They are beefy and they work wonderful. Okay, now obviously what you probably want to do is slide this in, okay, push your coil up. Um, let me just make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, yeah, that is nice and tight. There we go. Because that screw they provide is a bit, um, is a bit small, so let me just make sure I also have them. Yeah, they're fine. So just clip your leads. Be careful to only clip the one you want to clip and not actually the coil. Oops, here we go. One down. Same thing on this side. You really want to clip only. Here we go. Same thing on this side. You can uh, push it up. Actually, this one is way easier. See if you can see it on camera. Go there and clip it. Oops. Same thing on this side. Make sure you only clip the one you want to clip. See, it's quite easy. Well, it's hard on camera, but it is really easy if you're just holding your deck and um, and just do it. It's pretty easy. Now, obviously, grab your coil jig or the one they provide and put them where you think it will be the best place for them. adjustments there we go you can grab your cap and see where it lands as you can see sorry it was I was not on camera let me zoom focus see it's eating the coil obviously it can go up or go down really up to you and taste obviously how you think it's gonna taste better for you slightly up this one as well they were in line to me all right let's take the hot spots how much is this reading 0.224 so not too bad let's take the hot spots oh yeah it tells me New atomizer or old one? I forgot that. New one. It's actually reading 0.133. I had the old resistor in there. So actually, it will be quite good to squonk this one. Gonna remove the hot spots. nice colors very very nice colors maybe I'm pretty sure they are night chrome pretty pretty nice colors all right and when they have nice and glowing uh, is ready for cotton but actually how much is reading 1.133 all right so what are I gonna do actually um, because they're all point one three um i'm gonna use on my mech squonk my squonk mechanical squonker sorry so what i'm gonna do here is remove the normal pin and obviously install the squonk pin in so it's pretty easy just remove this one if it wants to come out maybe And 
and just install your squonk pin in. Here we go. Time down. Now I didn't try this one on in a squonk mode. Or I'd only try it in um, in normal dripping mode. So I gonna put on my squonk mode to see how it squonks. All right, the cotton is in place, and I couldn't wait to use my autumn doors on my poles. So finally, I'm gonna use them. Every build that I've been throwing on this bad boy is always homing a bit high, so. I I was like, uh, you know what, I'm gonna drip on it because it's been quite an enjoyable vape. Uh, but I wanna try in squonk mode as well. So obviously you can put your scissors on this lip in the bottom and zip, cut it, both the same. Yeah, that should be enough. Quite a pretty dip juice well, so you shouldn't have any troubles. To fit your cotton in there all right obviously fit your cotton as you can see protruding pin there on the squonk put your cotton in there do your small adjustments there we go pretty deep juice well very very good deep juice well okay let's squonk this bad boy oh yeah here we go obviously holds a lot of juice you can really squonk this bad boy okay so now it's ready to obviously if you want to i don't have my bottle here but obviously um, you want to prime a little bit your coils uh, before you start um, but yeah, it's ready to be vape. You only have to pull your top cap. All right so That's gonna look really 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 sexy. All right, so we're ready to come back on top um, And obviously I'm gonna give you all my thoughts on this bad boy the Alta RDA. All right, let's come back on top All right and we're back, and that was the up and close for the Atkin Arta RDA, okay? Very, very good. Mm, nice flavor too. Um, where you can get it and price? 3 for 21 99 Doesn't matter which color you choose, the black or the altum, it's going to be 21 99 So, pros and cons. Now, let's start with cons. Um, the cons that I have is... Um, why the autumn and the black are different why you got adjustable airflow on on the black one uh and is a double barrel why you don't have adjustable airflow on, on the autumn now i understand that autumn will probably be a bit harder to to have an adjustable airflow but they could do it all right or they could do the black same thing no adjustable airflow you okay? can all right because um, for me, this airflow is per perfectly fine. My, it might not gonna be enough for you. It might gonna be too much for you. So, you, and you probably really gonna like the Altum. Say, you know what? I love the Altum, but it's not adjustable airflow in there. Uh, so probably it's not gonna suit uh, what I need. So, uh, yeah, not really, really good. Now, second con has to be um, no extra uh, drip tip, and also no um, 510 drip tip adapter so in terms of extras they came a bit short to be honest um, and I don't know why I don't know why they, they normally add can give quite a lot of stuff um, uh, they, they bring quite a lot of extras but on this one mm -mm, no it didn't also I'm pretty sure that the black one you don't have single coil option why uh, you know they give you th that um this um silicone uh, plug to put in that I even they use i like it to use in dual coil but um, they don't give you on the other one so it's a bit it's a bit so my camera just decided to stop on me um so i was saying it's a bit strange you know really strange why they went for different uh, uh, systems on, on 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 the colors but um it pretty much is um the only cons that i have for th for this bad boy 
Also, uh, probably another con that I'm not being experiencing is the fact that when you squonk, you don't have any, any way to travel from one side to the other, all right? So where only when your, your juice well is filled to, to that level that is going to serve to travel to one side or the other. So obviously, if you're squonking on an angle, you might going to be squonking only one side and have a dry heat on the other side. Other than that, I will say this is a very, very good RPA. Um, I mean, construction, perfect. Machining, very good. Uh, hybrid compatible. Uh, it's been squonking very good, so you got squonk option or non-squonk option. I've been using more in dripping mode, to be honest, and it's worked really, really good. Now, this airflow, like I say, is perfect for me, but it might not going to be perfect for you because it's not adjustable. Um, I like the Altum, especially because the logo, the engraving logo here is really discreet. You can't really um, see it. Very, very nice. That gold... Uh, that you see on the bottom um, really blends with the Altum. 810 compatible uh, drip tip, uh, very, very good. I like this shaft cap, this large shaft cap uh, drip tip. Uh, it's been squonking great, it's been working great. Uh, I mean, airflow, you can adjust, so it's wide open. Um, 0.14 build in here, and it's checking clouds. Oh yeah, it's Chucky Claus here. Um, flavor is pretty, pretty good. Um, for the price, for $21.99, it's a pretty good idea. I mean, if you like the style, the thing is, you're probably going to ask, is any better than any other RDAs out there? No, it's not. It's not any better than all the big RDAs out there. Um, when you compare, I don't know, maybe to the uh, Iconic or maybe to the Banza. It got its difference. Uh, the other ones also got the, their difference. But I will say in terms of, of performance and uh, uh, the whole package, they perform about the same in terms of flavor and clouds. Um, easy construction. I mean, those pole screws are gigantic. So you can throw really big builds in here. Um, and it performs very good. The, the only good thing is that it's cheap. It's twenty one ninety nine. So you're looking at 17, 18 UK pounds. Uh, for a very nice build RDA. Uh, so yeah, one more time, I think I've can done a really good job on this one. So uh, in the end of the day, if I recommend, well, yeah, I will. The, now you have to choose, do you want adjustable airflow? Do you don't want adjustable airflow? You know, are you have already an RDA that is performing great? So you probably don't need to upgrade. But if, if you're looking to RDA, really easy to build, really nice construction, it's a good one. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for everything. Thanks to be here with here today with me. Thanks to be here with day with me. Uh, I wish you all the best, and I hope to see you on the next video. Till there, keep vaping.